Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. Okay, so you guys know how this goes. Channel messages first. Okay, today I'm hearing something different. I'm hearing watch who you call your friend. When there's a lot of sunshine moments and success, you get a lot more people that come back in and say, oh yeah, you remember me? Hey, be careful who you call your friend. Even if they were childhood friends, even if they were friends from college, friends from middle school, friends from high school, You've opened the door to a new life, so be careful who you call your friend. A lot of people you dodged a bullet from, so keep that in mind. So, I'm hearing that sometimes you had some, you know how people say, hey, you look like you lost a friend today. You know, it, it creates sadness when you lose somebody that's so nostalgic, that's so warm to you, that's so loving to you, that you feel like will go all the way with you, you know? But sometimes you really just have to realize that Father has put you in a position to where you dodged a bullet, to where, you know, not to say these people don't have the opportunity to grow. They just aren't there yet. They just haven't walked through that door yet. They haven't closed chapters in their life that's going to, you know, sometimes people come into your life and it pulls you back. I'm seeing somebody like signing a million dollar contract and someone saying, hey, don't you want to go party tonight? Wouldn't it be fun? Hey, you know, like that. Distraction big distraction so be careful who you call your friend because everybody is not your friend no matter how much they've been your friend in the past you know as you adapt to life you got to make sure that your friend circle adapts too and one big thing that I always say that your friends should be wanting to win with you even if they get sidetracked they get distracted they get off track they still have the opportunity to walk through that door as well just as you did but you can't always be hopeful during the time while you're signing your million dollar contracts or, you know, um, and I'm just talking money here, but we're, we're talking peace. We're talking abundance in all areas, prosperity, love. When you find that moment in your life where you're just winning, okay, it's, you got to be careful and protect your future here. You've worked hard. You've gone through spiritual, emotional, and physical evolvement. You've evolved through so many doors is what I'm hearing. So many things you've had to turn down because you got to accept a new opportunity you decided okay it's not worth the party it's not worth hanging out it's not worth you know whatever the case may be it's worth it to be in solitude to be in solitude for so long for this collective that I'm seeing and as much as you've worked on yourself and as much as you've decided to miss out on fun or what other people's idea of fun is you've completed those cycles you've gone through those karmic lessons those lessons were learned, so now you're at a place where you can teach. And as the teacher, although we still make mistakes, like I always say, the best teachers are the ones who are still learning. But it's important that you leave some things behind, and that includes some sometimes friends. And some friends can come in the form of family members. Some friends can come in the form as, you know, real good mentors or adults who haven't progressed, who haven't moved forward in life. And here you are adapting, here you are changing, here you are getting better. Okay, so continue to get better, okay? I keep seeing this bottom of the deck energy is the universe, and then here is spiritual union. Not only have you gotten into alignment with yourself, but here comes love, okay? I can't make this up. That's so crazy. I didn't even, you know, but I kept seeing this universe card. And with the world card, that's the regular, like the, in the regular tarot deck, the world card is like a completion. A cycle has been completed. You've done this over and over and over again until you decided, hey, this is crazy to keep doing this and expect it to win in life. So now you're in the winner circle. I'm seeing something like that. I'm hearing winning, okay? Winning time. Um, baby, you're a winner. Didn't even take you 12 rounds to do what you got the title now. Tell the whole world. <laughs> That's so amazing, okay? So, yes, you, you're in a winning time. So now is the time to win, and now is the time to really, really, you know, evaluate some of the things. Evaluate what you eat. Evaluate what you drink. Evaluate how you treat yourself, your body, your mind, your soul, your mental. Everything is important here. And you won't always get it right all the time, okay? So just don't be so hard on yourself. We talked about that yesterday, being overly critical of yourself. But be congratulate yourself live in the moment where instead of deciding i'm gonna sit here and eat this you know big greasy sandwich that hey i'm gonna eat something that's nourishing to my body even if it is like you know just some protein some strong fruits and vegetables whatever the case may be remember like i always say for clarity drink lots and lots of water for clarity because it opens your eyes and i'm hearing that your dreams are important right now too 
So whatever you're dreaming is important because it brings clarity, okay? Some of you are, are getting warnings in your dreams. Some warnings are very, very, very big. And you don't need to dismiss those red flags there. Some people are you're being warned about. So take this reading as that here, okay? That in order to be in spiritual union with your person, you again must be in spiritual union with yourself, but you need to close that door. And you you gotta have faith in, in your person and your friends and whoever else that you want to be in your circle, that they'll come along, they'll come. You know, don't give up on them because people change every day, people change every second of the day, miracles do happen. But you can't be around them when they're going through their lessons. Y'all are in different classes now. And so you have to recognize that. So I'm not saying don't come from a place of love. I'm not saying F them and, you know, don't pick up the phone when they call. I'm saying, you know, y'all are in different classrooms now. Your lessons are bigger. Your lessons are different. They're in the, the middle school and you in high school or whatever the case may be. You know, you've graduated to another section in your life. And you got to trust that this person will catch up, okay? Because a lot of times they do. But you can't be around them when they do it. You can't sit in their classroom. You, you've already passed that chapter of your life. Don't waste time doing that is what Father's telling me right now, okay? So remember to watch what you drink, watch what you eat. Be very, very conscious of it, okay? Because it's going to bring you lots and lots of clarity. And your eyes will open on who's your friend and who's not. Who's a really good family member or supporter of you and who's not. And not to say that just because they don't support you means they don't care. Sometimes people aren't on the level in life where they can care or capable of it. They still are dealing and battling their demons. So keep that in mind, okay? And I'm seeing the number 999, which is completion. Lots and lots of cycles that are closing out. So you might be seeing 999 a lot, okay? Um... I'm also seeing the number 111, which is intuition. Trust your intuition when it comes down to these people. Your discernment is very important. You know, a lot of people want to break bread with their so-called friends, but remember that your discernment is very important because the level in life, the winning circle that you're in right now, you can't just splurge on everybody just because they've been around you. You got to understand that your blessing is for you. So are you ready for your miracle and your blessing? Because theirs is coming. And while you take your whole blessing and spend on them, they, will they do the same is the question. And even if they did do the same, will they ever get there to be capable to do the same? You got to be careful of your blessing because it's yours. And that's not selfish or stingy. And then I'm also seeing the number 888, which is abundance in so many areas. Prosperity, peace, joy, love. All of that, okay? So those are, that's what I have for you. Those are your angel numbers for today. If you're seeing any of those and this resonates with you, Definitely, definitely book a private personal reading here. But let's get into today's messages and let's see what Father has for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Okay? Thank you so much for your time as usual. Next video for the next message. Divine Masculine, okay? Let's see what we have for you today. Y'all know how we do a situation, action, outcome. I'm also going to look into, like, you know, the enchanted map. See where you go from here or where you, you know, where you're headed in which direction. And then I also want to get some information from the gods goddesses and guardians deck just you know some support for you okay let's see situation has already fallen material harvest look at that nine <laughs> you've completed a cycle divine masculine now is the time for material harvest not just spiritual growth because spiritual growth has happened to you already and when you embrace that spiritual awareness, that spiritual growth, that love for yourself, then here comes the finances. And I can't make this up. I tell people that all the time. Abundance comes when you close out cycles and you close out some doors. You've absolutely walked away from some connections and some people that you realize were hurting and harming your situation a lot here. Your finances are deeply, deeply hurt by, by some of your past decisions here. Your action says conflict and defeat. So you're a conqueror. Continue going on the path that you're going. Don't turn around. Don't feel defeated. Don't feel like this is too hard. Don't feel like, oh my gosh, this is too much for me. Um, watch. I always say this with this card. This is so interesting because I did say that I'm pulling from the gods, goddesses, and guardians deck. And look, I always say this. The ancestors on the wall are guiding you up. They're telling you to get out of this level of defeat. You feel defeated. You feel like, you know, nothing... You feel like this this is too hard and, and father's like no you you have so much support leading you the opposite way to keep going up to keep going forward and going towards your material harvest 
to your success, to your abundance in all areas, which is love, peace, prosperity, and, you know, financial gain in here. Okay, so what's the outcome for Divine Masculine today? Ah, power that hit me in the face. And look at that eight, abundance. Y'all, I don't make anything up. This is amazing. Power, which is living in your strength, your true calling. That's what your angels and your ancestors and everyone else is trying to get you to see, that you need to stand up for yourself. Stand in your power. Stand in your strength. You got this. No longer should you feel defeated because you got this. Nothing is too hard. Two, two, two on the timer as I say that. Nothing is too hard. You have support. Look at here. Authority at the bottom. That's the emperor. Standing in your power. This is divine masculine energy. Standing in your power, divine masculine. Nothing is too hard for you. You have support from all different types of ways and realms. Let's go in um, God's Goddesses and Guardians. Let's get some, some clarity here for Divine Masculine today. What do you have for Divine Masculine today? Oh my gosh, we got sacred medicine here. Which is you are your own healer. Sometimes you're looking for help. Sometimes you're looking to be rescued. But you can rescue yourself. You can heal yourself. You heal your finances by making better choices. You heal your love life by making better decisions. You are responsible for your destiny. This is You have the sacred medicine within yourself. It's all within. And this is going to help and change the world. I'm hearing, you know, everything. You, this is your calling. This is what you've been called to do. Standing in your authority. Knowing that you have a divine purpose here. Standing in your power. And that's how you're going to get your material harvest. By healing others. But the best teachers, like I said in the channel messages, are those who are still learning. So take those lessons and all the lessons of feeling like defeated, feeling like that you're not enough, feeling like you, you know, have to change so many things about your life. You do. You have to keep on your path of success here. And you can't get scared. Stand within your power. Stand within your calling here. Let's get an um, enchanted map here. And it says ghost lands and stuck in the mud. So you feel like time is standing still, like you'll never move forward. But Father says, where there's a will, there's a way. Can you imagine an elephant being stuck in the mud? At this point, it's just about reflecting. You have all the power and the strength to get out of this. And you have a little coach behind you. This, this bird here is coaching this. Like, come on, you got this. So you're feeling like time is stuck, like nothing's moving forward here. But Father is saying that you have everything that you need here to move forward. You just have to sit in this place right now. This, this level of feeling like you're stuck, feeling like conflict, feeling like so much defeat has happened here. You got to realize that this is all to just help you stop, take a moment to self-reflect in order to feel the power that you're experiencing within yourself. You got to like supercharge yourself, heal yourself, okay? Generate that power within you is what I'm hearing for you, Divine Masculine. Okay, let's get a, a twin flame card here. We got karmic ties. I can't fully be there for you as long as there's other persons in my life. I know it's hard for you, but I have to go through this experience in order to heal it. So you do have to let go of these karmic ties, karmic people, karmic situations, karmic toxic things. I'm hearing family members. I'm hearing karmic ties with a karmic, you know, like a sexual partner that you may have had in the past or even right now. Whatever the case may be, Divine Masculine, it's time to let that go in order to grow. And you feel like it's hard, but it's really not. Father's saying, take this time, reflect on it, think about it, and let it go. It's time to move yourself out of stagnation. Remember I said save yourself is what Father keeps saying. Heal yourself, okay? Let's see what you want to tell your Divine Feminine. Oh, lots of things came. I don't like being back and forth. I need to make a decision. It's the Seven of Swords. You're tired of lying to yourself about this. You're tired of lying to others about this love. You really love this person and it's time you come forward. And then you also say judgment, which is judgment is here. It says, I'm releasing my fears about what other people think to finally put my own needs first and follow my heart. So Divine Masculine, you're ready to just follow your heart. You're ready to let go and let God is what I'm hearing. You're ready to let go of all the judgment of other people thinking, okay, why would you leave this person? Or why would you leave this lifestyle? Or why would you leave this job? And Father's like, because you got to let go of those fears. You're being led to, to stand in your power and your calling, okay? So that's what I have for you today, Divine Masculine. I hope this information helped and blessed. Let's go to the next video for Divine Feminine. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Hi, Divine Feminine. Okay, so these are your messages. Uh, situation, action, outcome for today. You know how we do it. Situation, action, outcome. Okay, so let's see what Father has for you, Divine Feminine. Okay, what's the situation for Divine Feminine today? We have foundations and achievements. So happy home life here, okay? You're really thinking about, you know, having and building a family with somebody right now. And somebody that somebody's thinking about that same thing with you here, okay? Having children together, building a solid foundation, a solid home. I'm hearing like, you know, you're feeling very motherly right now, Divine Feminine. I'm hearing motherly, okay? Even if you don't want kids or don't have kids or whatever the circumstance may be, I'm hearing just the nurturing side of you once like that you know like i don't know i'm getting that holiday love that like you know warm heartedness that nurturing part that bakes cookies and just want to cook for each other and love on each other and be with each other i'm seeing that for you divine feminine that's where your mind is here and your heart is your action is to stand in your power okay divine masculine got this as well with this eight here that's that's significant here both of you all are stepping up to your calling and what are you being called to do divine feminine you need to be stepping into that, okay? And even if that is being nurturing, being loving, being helpful in your household, and that's what that is, okay? But I'm here just queendom, okay? Just being that divine queen you're called to be, okay? Just as your masculine would be, even if your masculine is not around, you still need to step into your authority, into your, into your queenness, okay? Your empress love here, I'm hearing. All right, what's the outcome here for divine feminine? What's the outcome? Moving on to calmer waters here. You're finally seeing the light at the end of a tunnel, okay? You've gone through a lot of hardships, a lot of things back and forth, even with yourself is what I'm hearing. This has nothing really to do, kind of, sort of, with Divine Masculine, but I'm hearing you stepping into your power because you know you deserve certain things in life now. You deserve true happy home. You deserve a true happy life, a house, a car, whatever the case may be, you're calling that in. You're exercising your power and your rights to have these things here. And that's why you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel because it's taken so long for you to get here to step into your power and your authority here. Bottom of the deck, energy is solitude and that nine is here again. You might be seeing 999. You closed a lot of cycles out. You've left a lot of friendships. You've left a lot of people behind. It's hurt. I'm hearing that it hurt. But at the same time, it was very, very necessary. Solitude. You're now seeing the reason why you were so in solitude for so long. That some of the things that you've studied in the past, some of the things that you've had going on with you have definitely, definitely paid off in the long run. Some of the things that you were studying too, I'm hearing, is starting to make sense now, okay? Especially if you've been like pushed to get into deep studying. I'm hearing mythology, Greek mythology, uh, Egyptian mythology. And I hate to use the word mythology, right? Because that's somebody's true religion, you know what I mean? And I really believe in those kind of things, you know? I feel like you can expand your mind outside of what we know, you know, to be true. So when I say that, I'm just saying that you're, you're studying more ancient texts. That's what I should say. Let me get a God, statuses, and guardians um, support here. Ooh, we got balance here. You finally achieved balance here between day and night, dark and light. Divine feminine, you've learned to use your intuition, when to use your power, and when to flex, and when to just be that nurturing spirit to soothe yourself, calm yourself. I'm hearing that you've created a lot of stability within your own life because of this, okay? And I'm hearing that with, with that, you, you definitely had to be in solitude. It's been really shocking at first to have to be alone so much and so long. But once you really got into your, your higher self, you were able to see things more clearly. You're able to not just kill ego, but control ego. Because sometimes you do need that confidence within yourself, but you don't need that ego that pull, pull, pulls you back from everything or holds you back from things by thinking that you know it all. But that confidence to say, I can learn, I got this, okay? That's what I'm hearing for you, Divine Feminine. Let's get an enchanted map. Let's see where you're going, what direction, what, what Father has for you as far as directional. Father, what do you have for Divine Feminine? And it's blue here. Mountain, mountain top here, okay? Mountain top here. That means solitude. That's all about being in solitude, all right? This was all planned. I always say that when I see this card, it reminds me of Moses being on the mountaintop. You know, he, he did lead a lot of people. But when he got the Ten Commandments, he had to be on the mountaintop to get closer and closer and closer to God. 
He had to get higher and higher within himself, not just collectively, not just going places and doing things because of other people, but to really, really build that personal relationship with the higher power, okay? And that's what you've been doing. And that's what Father is saying. He's saying, you know, continue to be there. He's got you. He got some really good stuff for you, okay? That's coming out of this. Let's get a twin flame card for Divine Feminine Father. Twin flame card. We got mirrors here. Our inner children are crying out right now. We both need to comfort them and become the parents. So you're learning to be the parent of your own. Like I said, I, I just keep getting this motherly feeling for you, Divine Feminine, today. Like this love here. Not just because you want kids. I'm just saying loving and nurturing side of you. Because you're really learning to love your little, your little child within. Your little person within. Seeing how much love that needs to be there. I don't know. Again, I'm getting holiday times. You know, like that warm feeling. Even if you went through some traumatic something in your life where the holidays really weren't the holidays. Or you may have lost somebody really close to you and it never became the holidays without them. Whatever the case may be, because I'm seeing some of that too. I'm feeling some of that in my spirit. But I'm also seeing too that you're loving yourself through this. That you're realizing that you deserve this happy, loving home. Creating that stability for yourself regardless. Okay, let's see what you want to tell Divine Masculine here today. You got the hermit. I'm learning to go within for answers. So this is all about going within. This is all about having a, that solitude, okay? This is all about, you know, creating that space between yourself and, and your higher, higher self, okay? Your higher power here. Like I keep saying, that that solitude, that solitude, loving on yourself, okay? That solitude, because you need to learn how to step into your power, and you're learning that. You're building that trust within yourself. You're, you trust yourself now with decisions. You trust yourself now because you've balanced yourself, okay? So that's what I have for you, Divine Feminine. I hope this information helped and blessed. All right, let's go to the last video for today, the love messages. Thank you so much for your time. Next video, thank you. Hi everybody, okay, welcome back. These are your love messages, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I'm gonna pull one message of love and one heart card, and I'm gonna end this with an angel card today, okay, you guys? So let's go Divine Masculine first. Divine Masculine, Father, what do you have for them? Different pages, you and this person that you've been trying to make it work with and trying to make it work with and trying to make it work. This karmic situation is on different pages. Y'all don't want the same thing when it comes down to life. You don't have the same goals. You don't have the same agenda. You know, um, just the love isn't there, okay? And you feel that, and that's, this other person feels that as well. So that's why you need to release any karmic ties with this person because it's not the same. And on the, in the same note, Father is saying that you have a new beginning, okay? So your forgiveness is key because this, this dove always represents forgiveness. It's on the horizon. Horizon is very important for this card because it says new beginnings. So once you get rid of this person that you're no longer on the same page with, you got a new adventure awaiting you, a new beginning. Embrace it and live your life and your dreams passionately, okay? New beginnings with you and your love. So that's important, again, that you let go of this karmic situation, karmic friendships. I know it's hard, okay? It's not, it doesn't feel good to have to dismiss somebody, but you have to recognize that you and these people, they're not in the same wavelength. They're not on the same frequency as you. You've grown, you've seen things, you've expanded your consciousness. And now it's time you live that, okay? Live your truth is what I'm hearing. So Divine Feminine, let's get one for Divine Feminine Father. Intuition, you already know the answer you seek. So with that being said, trust your intuition. Didn't I say that? I said you have to use discernment with the people around you now, okay? And really, really trust your intuition. When you start to get that bad feeling or feel funny about somebody or something, you know, it's best to lean towards the, you know, lean towards, the, you, you're better off by just walking away or letting that situation ride for a second versus, you know, trying to make something work, a friendship work, uh, even a family gathering, you know, some things you don't really have to talk about or say because you already know how these people are. There's no reason to even debate or go back and forth or argue with anybody. Trust your intuition when it comes down to people. That's very important because within your solitude, you, your intuition has grown. And then for you, we have romance, Cupid strikes, Cupid's arrow strikes here. 
So trust your intuition. Your passion has ignited this person, your divine masculine, and it's ignited them so much. And you know this. You know that they're coming in. You know this. You feel it is what I'm hearing. You feel it coming. So don't share this with any other person because they're going to just say, oh, she's crazy. Oh, she don't know what she's talking about. Or, oh, you know, they don't understand or whatever, whatever. We got passion at the bottom here. And we got deep in your heart. You already know the answer. Do what feels right. So passion, you know, you do have passion for your person and you already know what, what feels right. Both divine masculine and divine feminine. The bottom of the deck energy, that hidden energy is for both of you all. You know what's, what you passionately want to go after, which is each other. Because this is divine love, okay? Let's get an angel card to wrap this up for divine masculine and divine feminine. One angel card to wrap this up, Father. And we got Archangel Nuriel. All right, angel of hell, fire, and spell binding, okay? So any spell work, anything that's trying to come against your connection is over with, okay? You're no longer fighting against the odds. You're just, some of you all are just fighting against yourself and your thoughts and your intuition. Don't fight it. Embrace it. You already know that this is coming in. There's no reason to go against what Father keeps showing you, okay? He's showing you. And I'm seeing so much growth here, spiritual growth here. I'm seeing so much love for yourself that has developed during this separation. And all the spell work and all of that had to go. It says um, she's in charge of subduing elements, protection, wards off evil, liberates the truth, power to bind and unbind things, all right? Archangel Nuriel comes to say, I will cover you with fiery wings of protection and make you immune to any kind of evil that comes your way. So don't worry about this new beginning. Divine masculine and divine feminine, this new beginning, it's not going to be evil eye and everybody hating on the situation and whatever, because everyone around you, not only do they see the growth, they have to accept your growth. So no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. And then it also says, um, you know, the timing is several months. The answer is no. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I just said that, okay? It's been several months of this. You guys have been battling a lot of spell work and a lot of, you know, mental chaos. Spell work comes in different ways. People can just wish you harm. They can wish bad on the situation, connection. When y'all were probably trying to come back in each and every time, there was probably some, you know, some things that happened to prevent y'all like stupid arguments that kept y'all apart okay and sometimes that's spell work because these people make these things up like oh okay you know stir the pot in order to get y'all to go against each other but that's no longer a factor here so new beginnings fresh new beginnings fresh new starts are on the horizon they're here embrace it because you're new people completing those cycles they're closed it's no longer love all oh, the cycles are closing the karmic cycles are ending no more ending it's ended Okay, that's what I have for you all today. I hope this information helped and blessed. If you would like a personal private reading, go to justdreamguide.com, book a personal private reading. Also, follow me on YouTube. All of the zodiacs for the day have been posted, for the week they've been posted. Make sure you go check that out on my YouTube channel, Just Dream Guide. Okay, and make sure you like, share, and subscribe the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As usual, hearts, hearts, hearts. And I will see you all next time. Thank you.